Hello. Welcome to Nuclear Throne. Um, well, let's start by talking about what Nuclear Throne is. Um, Nuclear Throne is a very fast paced, uh, very bullet heli, roguelike shooter. Um, so you pick a character, they all play quite differently, which is nice. Um, and you have to fight through a set of randomly generated levels. Uh, using sort of weapons and ammo that you find along the way. Um, so I guess we should. I think I'm going to start by just beating the game with every character once. Though I don't actually have all of them unlocked yet. Um, but yeah, let's start by just playing fish. I haven't played a bit of this game, so I've got a little bit unlocked. Um, I've unlocked the Crown of Risk for Rogue. Oops. Um, I think that's about all. I've, I've unlocked a skin for. Is it eyes? Yeah, for eyes. So, let's just start with fish. So, every character has an active ability, and they usually have a passive ability as well. Um, so, fish's active ability is roll. Just press right click and you roll in a direction. Um, it's basically just makes you really speedy. It's not super useful. Um, and his passive ability is that when you pick up ammo, you get some more ammo per drop, as most characters do. So, you can see on uh, on the UI, you've got your um, uh, experience here. As we've leveled up once. You get to level up at the end of a level. Um, our HP, ammo, weapon, and I f yeah, this shows your ammo for each individual sort of type of ammo, ammo type. So you've got bullets, shotguns, uh, bolts, explosives, and energy. And we might see that come to play soon. Oh, well, shoot. I didn't mean to, I didn't realise that was the end of the level there, but um, I tried rolling out but I was a bit slow. But down there where is a crossbow, which we could have picked up. Unfortunately we won't get that. Um, I think st second stomach is the best perk out of this. So things start off generally very easy. Uh, so this pistol. What do I do? These first levels aren't really good really at all. Um, I'm still managing to do very badly on them. <laughs> Damn maggots! Okay, I don't want to lose any more HP because that'll mean I won't be at full after a single minute. This is like a mutated version of uh, these other rats. Right, come on. Um, I think Open Mind is a pretty decent perk. Gives you more chests on each level. So they're at max HP after getting a health chest. Here we've got our first zone boss. Uh, this first one is rather easy. The second one is quite easy as well. The third one is probably the most difficult. I find anyway. Nah, I didn't quite get a level up on that one. Might actually one shot these rats, so I should probably be using that. Um, 
and when you pick up an ammo chest, make sure you pick it up with the weapon in your that you want to get ammo for. If I had my um, range equipped and went into it, it would just give me ammo for some random weapon, I think. Just some random weapon ammo. I do have another one here, but I, mean, I don't really need it, but I might as well. I'm actually gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna open this chest because it gives me a chance of getting a super chest later on, which has three weapons in it. But scary, scary face is really good. I'm just gonna here. Assassins, very annoying enemies. Alright, let's see what we get here. Uh, we've got a screwdriver. What we can do with the screwdriver is actually open up a secret level. Uh, over here. these mansion here. to hit um, hit bullets away to flex bullets. I have two experience monsters here. And over here you see our um, the golden chest. These will have uh, golden lunch. They will have golden items in. Um, if you open I might as well show you. You open it you get a bunch of ammo and then uh, these police guys spawn. Uh, we actually got an achievement there. Good to find that looks a golden weapon. Sure. Uh, Rhino skin, that was me too. So I think the golden wrench just has a better like, swing weight. You can use it a bit more often when you have a mini weapon. That's the same boss for this place anyway. We're upgrading our weapons. Uh, I've actually got a sledgehammer. Yeah, I'll take a. <laughs> I'll take a crossbow. Probably better for us than a laser pistol at this point. So we can one shot these guys.
easy game for me. Help. I'm not sure if we need to actually hold on to our golden weapon, we might just have it unlocked for our character now. Um, I'll take that bit. That's a really good, really good weapon for us here. It's just a crossbow of a really nice fire bait. Slightly less accuracy, but that like, doesn't matter too much. On to the next level. Homing bolts is amazing with the um, beauty crossway. So we'll take right here. Um, that was actually a mimic chest there. So you have to be um, you have to be very careful with this. Mimic health chests are quite rare, but they do have the potential to just mess you up, so... chests open there. We can get a super chest in the future. Now, uh, rabbit paw is really good, especially with, um, well, we've got the thing which makes our heals heal us for more, and we also have the thing that increases our health to 12, so it synergizes quite nicely. Makes us so easy. You can see how good the auto crossbow is here. It's probably my um, one of my favourite weapons. If you've got bolt Um I might I don't know if we it said we've unlocked the um, golden wrench. So I don't think we have to hold on to the golden wrench to actually um, have it unlocked anymore. It used to be that you had to die with it and then you'd spawn with it on the next playthrough. But they've sort of changed it so you have, like you have progression now so you actually unlock weapons. That's so good. And the grenade rifle is actually just really good. So. We have our next zone boss here. This is one of the more difficult ones. It really depends on how good your spawn is. Did you see that skill? So we just got killed there. Um, I don't actually know what killed us. There was some explosion. It might have been a car being thrown or something. Um, the thing with explosions in this game is that if they hit you dead on, they actually um, they hit you twice because you're sort of in the blast long enough for it to happen like that. That's only if you get like directly hit with an explosion though. Um, so that's sort of why we got one shot there. Um, but we unlocked some stuff so. Let's see. Um, so ah, we do have the golden wrench. Nice. So we should start with the golden wrench with fish, I believe. Uh, we should have enough time for another episode. Yeah, we do. We 
didn't start with it as well as the revolver, I think we have it instead of the revolver. Or the, um, yeah. It's not a bad item to start with. Though. Grenade launcher is quite a good fight move. <coughs> a lot of people don't like the grenade launcher because you end up killing yourself with it, but. Once you've got enough factors of this, not too bad. I can actually show you the um, the other secret level, which requires a explosive weapon to get to. Uh, <laughs> on skin again. It's pretty much an identical copy to our last one. I'm running in there with just got me hit. <laughs> just find the blow up like that. Ah. So you need to look for um, the sewer thing with this square on it. Um, I might come back to that crossbow. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm gonna. Finish the rest of this map first to get the experience. Now there's some ammo there. Kind of wanna pick that ammo up, but I don't wanna be hit at the same time. There we go. <laughs> All out of that. So um, you need an explosive weapon, and then you can blow up that. Music in this game is awesome. So here we're just sort of massacring the, uh, the Ninja Turtles. Sog is pretty good. Uh, ouch! Stop that. Um, and they drop for pizza, which. He was used just like a make it does. Uh, not sure what to do here. Yeah, let's do it like this. Oh, it's bought the ammo, it's fine though. Um, oh. <laughs> so we can get bolt marrow again. Um, we can get rabbit ball. I'm just gonna take rabbit ball. Just 
So yeah, there's uh, what I said about being used to using explosive weapons. Uh, so I'm really looking for two perks now. One increases your accuracy and one causes hit, uh, bullets to go back into your inventory and hit an enemy. Or at least the majority of them. It's called like most hit bullets become ammo. And also back muscle, which increases your max ammo capacity. Pretty good with fish, synergizes with his passive. For us, can you take long arms, I guess. Yeah, the thing is, we've already got the mini gun, so um, that's sort of settled what build we're going for. Sledgehammer is pretty good at dealing with these guys. So much for so. And with long arms, it makes it much more viable to use. Shit. You'd have to worry about them getting a bit too close though, because it does increase the range rate a lot. It also means that you don't have any range sort of next to you. Super splitting. Maybe. Um, scary at face is fine. No, <laughs> just no. It's not a smart idea, never will be. Unless you're playing like a character with very low HP and uh, you also have the perk which stops you taking explosive damage under 4 HP. Uh, 
It's pretty much the only situation I would use to make a launcher. Oh shit. Jesus Christ, this guy needs to calm down. Shut up, bro. Ah, uh, see, I, I got killed there because the range of it was a bit too long. Um, so you do need to watch out for that. Well, anyway, that's going to be the end of episode one. Um, I will go back to Fish and try and beat the game with him, but in the next episode we'll probably move on to another character. Um, well, thanks for watching. Drop a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. And as always, see you guys next time.